Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Find a select... Because of the Sith... Offworlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Taras. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Taras for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the undercity below Taras's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the rat ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Now that must have hurt. What are you doing? Don't go in there! That door is for employees only! Y you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless... Unless you're a friend of the Republic. I, uh... I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they are hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rakul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. 
Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same! Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. My name's Garuk. I used to be a card shark. One of the best Pazak players in the Outer Rim. But that was before I retired from the gambling life. Don't get me wrong, the game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. 50 credits gets you my old Pazak deck and a free lesson. A 
Great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here. I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your... match but luck is no substitute I'm going to enjoy the Thank you. 
Bazak is not. Confidence is Going to an If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. You were lucky to win the last match. If you ever... I saw your match against Niklos. He doesn't lose very often. I bet you could make a lot of credits as a professional Pazak player. Sorry, but I'm not here looking for conversation. I just came to get a drink, listen to some music, and try to relax before my next shift at the military base. I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't even like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know. A job with long hours and low pay, I might add. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give this lousy job up. Retire my uniform, so to speak. The senior officers don't really like it when we start answering questions, you know? They don't want us fraternizing with the locals. Just another perk of the job. No offense, but I probably shouldn't be talking to you anymore. I'm surprised to see you again. I thought you'd gotten sick of me complaining about my job at the Sith military base. I guess I kind of obsess about it. That can't be healthy. No offense, but I probably shouldn't... I'm surprised to see you again. No... What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my get away from me? I can't be seen. 
Oh, there's too many. I'm surprised the Sith haven't done anything to try to bring in death. Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jurgen. What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. Obviously, you have an ear for music. Mark my word, they'll be famous soon enough. They were about to go on tour before this Sith quarantine stranded them here. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with fame before they become intergalactic superstars? I can arrange it, you know. They have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting. You sting me with your words. I merely thought I could offer you the rare... That's too bad. They really are chumming. I wish the off-duty... I don't know what the guys in here find so attractive about this twilight. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Yun Genda, Junior Officer First Class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Terrace can't stand us Sith. It can make this a pretty lonely job. Save the sympathetic best friend, but I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off. So let's just pretend this con- Back again? Didn't I make myself clear enough? The senior Sith- That's okay. I might have overreacted a bit, but can you blame me? Everywhere I look, I see one of you Teresians glaring at me with hate in your eyes. You're an off-worlder. Huh, I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know they have to make the best of things? Exactly. It's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a shift at the military base. But some of us junior Sith officers are having a party later to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our shifts end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. Did you get those clothes? A trash. Careful what you say. I get the. Why is the help here so incompetent? How dare you speak to me like that? Are you our waiter? Ghana's buying tonight. This Theresian ale is fantastic. Let me enjoy my drink in peace. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Have you gone into the music room in the back? Yeah, I don't care. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, 
I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlon Kufinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! <laughs> and to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick. Fibroblades and blasters? This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner I give you... Get I dumped in! And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The mysterious stranger! Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging... It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Gerlon losing to a rookie! Is this a 
sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. Ladies and gentlemen, over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death. And in the other corner, Leave me alone. Off with you.
Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But uh, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Oh, I'd better go give this to Davik right away. Hey, you made it! I was beginning to wonder if you were going to show. The party's in full swing, come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale, it's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Careful, Yoon. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Who cares, we're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little, come on, drink up! Don't! Don't hurt my family! Just take what you want and get out! planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Slummy's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. 
Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. A drink? Hey, for a slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this slummy's buying the next round. <laughs> no way, forget it. No more drinks. We're late enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe next time, slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Move along. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids that, but there's always some young gun to... Ladies and he's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids at
Ladies and gentlemen, he's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids, but there's... Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? Well, the planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, well, that's all I can th You got it.